Hello everybody and welcome to my apocalypse. This is the Fallout Theorizer and welcome to my channel. Of course, this being my first ever YouTube video, I will need some help from you all. Don't worry, I'm not asking for any donations in caps or in real life dollars. I'm asking for maybe some help on maybe suggestions for where to edit my videos, even though I'm using a pretty good one right now. Um and I might try them out. Any suggestions for videos and theories I can do? Because you are the ones that are supposed to enjoy it, and I want you to. So, you let me know, and I'll check it out. I'll do some research, and all of that. And I'll try to make your day a little bit better. Or even a little nuclear. Alright, let's get into the video, boys and girls of the Wasteland. Okay, so this video will be dedicated to more of the world of Fallout in the United States at the time, instead of it being about the aspects of Fallout or the actual game. But don't worry, I will be getting into that in later videos. So, what I mean by in the world of Fallout would be more of, let's say, why did America push a lot of its money into their military instead of their, let's say, TV industry. Now, as you may be able to tell if you have played the Fallout games or have seen many clips of Fallout games, especially in the beginning of Fallout 4, that they don't use colored TV, and it probably hasn't even been discovered or actually invented yet. So, why have they not made that if they're in the year 2077, and we're in the year, well, we're in the year 2021 right now, but why, and you know, we made it in the year 1960 or so. So why haven't they made that yet? You'd think they'd be able to do that. They've made fusion power cars, um, power armor, a Gatling laser, something like that. Such amazing technology been able to make at least color TV yet, or something like that or just anything for the community and citizens of the Fallout universe well in this video I'm going to answer that question based on not just the the works in the Fallout universe but things in our universe right now let's get into it okay so in our universe or in our world we have been able to make TV, as I said, well, color TV, as I said before. But we're going to go into some of the history of Russia during the Cold War. Now, you might be asking, what does Fallout, what does America have to do with Russia? I didn't come here for a history lesson, and believe me, don't worry, I won't bore you. This is just all part of what I'm going to say. In Russia during the Cold War, they dried everything they could out of money for the citizens, meaning it being food, resources, anything of that kind, to make weapons of mass destruction, as I mean nuclear warheads, to fight the United States for power over the world. Now, America in the Fallout universe, sure, they're not the worst people in the world. They're, they just wanted to, you know not be taken over by communist China in the meantime but also they wanted to show that they didn't want to be messed with or even show that they had power and how did they do that they depleted food from others as you can see with provisional governor Graham if you play fallout or heard heard about him in fallout so provisional governor Graham extended his stay as a governor in the Bostons of Massachusetts in Fallout 4 and dried money out from food and water from the community in Massachusetts as you might be able to see if you run into a couple Mr. Gutsies as a random encounter. The Mr. Gutsy will say that he has put down a stay at home order or a curfew, my apologies, so that nobody will go out and riot, and if they do, they can get arrested very, very easily. For, you know, little to no reason. And let's say that's a very, not a very good, uh, 
stay-at-home order or reason to give that order. As Americans, here even in our universe, we try to keep our freedom as much as we can. We are a democracy, after all. And in the 1950s, in that area, era, my apologies, I'm sorry, we, you know, uh, we like to keep our our freedom even then, and especially such. Um, people that were alive back in the 1950s are especially um, Democratic and Republican, you know, um, being more lenient to democracy than other people that are necessary for us to survive are being taken and made into money for weapons and things of mass destruction and for war. Now, is America in the wrong for doing this? It's hard to say. You shouldn't take money from people that need food and water, especially people that are, well, let's say, you know, aren't the richest in the world, but they aren't really struggling, and, you know, taking it, well, not taking it from them, but, you know, taxing them too much so they can, of course, well, um, make weapons, and that's not really good. Like, taking money from them and taxing them, you should be able to tax people. You have to make places like courthouses, um, make roads, and things like that, yes. But, of course, this, isn't, this is not a good thing to do. Now, the TVs and all of that, they probably could have made it and in a short, shorter amount of time, who knows, maybe even in the 1960s when we were, when we made it, if the Fallout universe didn't change so much. If you didn't know that shortly after World War II, which is when the Fallout universe kind of separates from our universe, if you didn't know, the Fallout universe and our universe separates around World War II, you can see the differences, like, in our universe, we kind of split Germany in two, and then also Berlin in two, and then in our universe, we started making things like, of course, handheld computers, which is the Pit Boy, and stuff like that. And amazing technology so soon. Not well, maybe that, those weren't for weapons, but they were still amazing technology. I mean, you have to admit. But in, in our universe, we've only made that technology around right now. Especially not using nuclear technology. We can't harness that right now. We're still on the debate of using thermal and electrical and. Um, technology like using, still using sort of like coal. I mean, they still do that in the Fallout universe, but especially nuclear, like uranium and stuff like that. Now, what does this have to do with all TVs? If people were given freedom and enough resources to do things, they can do it. People are human, the human race is one of the most amazing things in our entire world. Just the human mind alone can accomplish so much if you put your mind to it or if you're given the materials. We see this also in the Wolfenstein universe. If you're not aware of what the Wolfenstein universe, it is a game made by Bethesda that is rumored to be connected to the Fallout universe and a lot of other Bethesda universes like Doom, which is also a copyright, well not copyrighted, but a, um, well, yes, copyrighted, but, uh, something that's held by Bethesda, and held by, you know, Bethesda, and Fallout, they're all sort of linked in a way, is what's theorized, but anyway, as you can see in Wolfenstein, it's a game where you play as someone named William J. Blaskowitz, which you are opposedly, well, not opposedly, but you are supposed to fight Nazis, and... Anyway, that's not important, but I re really recommend you go out and play it. Please go out and buy the games. They are amazing, and I really recommend you test those out, especially Fallout and everything like that, but let's get back to it. So, with everything in that, you can see in several instances that uh, Color TV hasn't been, wasn't made yet in those instances, and that was the 1960s, and around to getting the 1970s, um, of which Color TV wasn't really made yet or even attempted, but then eventually it does get made when America was 
letting go of Europe, they were never really occupying it, just helping it recover from World War II, which was a terrible thing, of course. And then in your, their universe, they were inventing technologies like, of course, the Pit boy the Power Armor. Well, not right after World War II, they made Power Armor, but uh, quite a bit afterwards. But anyway, that'll happen. In any case, as long as you can put your mind to it, and you have the materials, and you have the allies, you have the friends, you can do anything, folks. Just saying. Now, that's going to conclude the video. I'm not going to say this was a slam dunk of a video, because it obviously was not. If you couldn't tell, um, there are of course a few problems with the video. If When I get more experience, and I am able to edit more, and be better at this. This is my first attempt at making a video, and I think I did well for, you know, first attempt. Tell me how I did in the comments below. If you have any tips, have any thing you want to note, anything like that would be amazing, and I really appreciate it. I hope you all have an absolutely excellent day. Hope this made your day a little bit better, maybe a little nuclear. Who knows? All right. Y'all have a good day. And remember, this is my apocalypse.